uh, I used to sleep at 9 p.m. in the night. Okay. I used to wake up at 2 a.m. From 2 to 10, I used to study and then finish up my office work. And after that, uh, if it gets over at 7, I used to study from like 8 to 9, then sleep again and then repeat the entire cycle. Actually, I went through a lot of Udemy and YouTube courses, a lot of other courses, but I have never found something so detailed and so well structured what Vivek sir taught us. Let's start today's success story with a quick introduction about yourself. Yeah, thank you for this wonderful opportunity for having me. So my name is Aditya and I had recently graduated last year in the year 2023 from Ramayya Institute of Technology, Bangalore. And during my seventh semester of engineering, I got a chance to work as a DevOps internet sprinkler. Once my intern got finished, I had to make a career choice whether I want to continue in the field of DevOps or whether I want to move in the Java backend side. So like one random day, I was just scrolling over Instagram and I found this advertisement of programming parcella that they were uh, organizing a Spring Boot cohort, which initially Shreyan sir was taking. August batch then back then i did not have any knowledge about java as a programming language or any back end framework like i did not have any much prior experience on it and i joined the august batch but uh, like due to lack of no understanding of java i could not like properly finish up the cohort okay but anup sir was kind enough to allow me into the next batch of cohort that we were starting i think in the month of november which vivek sir was taking and this is how basically my journey started into learning java as a back end language and also spring boot framework so currently i have joined target okay. and along with it i also had offers from paypal and payu same in the java back end domain as well okay that's nice congratulations yeah thank you so much and um, along this journey i was constantly in touch with vivek sir so okay. even though i was just a part of spring boot cohort he still guided me like how should i start with my dsc preparation journey mm-hmm. and according to his plan like what he told me i also finished the dsc like revision in this two months got it so when you were when you started studying you were just fo- completely focused on you know preparing so i was working as well during that time okay Yeah, you got another job opportunity after you finished the internship. Yeah, there only I got the PPU. Okay, so you I were working as well as you're studying. Yes, yes, yes. So I was working and studying as well. Okay, can you also share like how challenging it was to you know manage your work as well as studying consistently? How many hours were you studying? I'll divide it into phases. Okay, like during the like my serious preparation started on the month of January basically. Okay. So initially, I used to devote like two hours in the morning and four hours after my work. I had set up certain deadlines, like how I am going to prepare, what are my portions that I am going to cover during that particular phase, and from what time I can expect to give interviews. Okay. So from the May month of May, I changed my schedule completely. So uh, I used to sleep at nine p.m. in the night. Okay. I used to wake up at two a.m. from 2 to 10 i used to study and then finish up my office work and after that uh, if it gets over at 7 i used to study from like 8 to 9 then sleep again and then repeat the entire cycle okay that's a very i mean it was a strategic planning which was yeah. working out for you yeah. and you were tracking the entire thing yes yes so i used to set up deadlines for everything like i have to finish this particular topic in that particular hours and i can't delay because in case i used to delay a certain topic i could not finish it because i have to move to the next topic to study because once you are having some years of experience you have to finish system design as well yeah yeah so we also got the access for low level design course and also the concurrency part and i believe it was one of the best thing that i have ever gone through <laughs> so vivek sir actually have taught everything so much in depth like i believe even someone covers 30 40% of it they can easily grab most of the opportunities from it okay that that's a good feedback thank you so i mean i understood you know how this was helping you there might have you know challenges also that you faced even with the course that you were studying or with your preparation can you shed some light on the problems that you were coming across while you were preparing my main problem that i faced was initially only while i was trying to learn java because switching from c++ to java is quite intimidating in the beginning there are a lot of changes so i faced quite problem while switching language but with time it came actually like while following the classes regularly i got handy with the language and second 
problem i faced was while i was framing the resume so i had a one on one call with vivek sir which lasted for around one and a half hours so he guided me through every aspect of it how we should frame our resume what to put what not to put which is the most crucial part and uh, he sort of told me like how do we cater our resume and most of the calls actually i got were through my resume sort this thing only because i directly never applied to much companies i was directly getting calls from recruiters for linkedin and nokri okay. and i believe okay. my resume shortlist resume part was the most crucial for me okay that's interesting uh, what was the journey in you know finding this opportunity and how mm-hmm. was the interview process can you walk me through it yeah so i'll give you a little brief like i had set up a deadline like i was looking for off campus opportunity for the first time basically okay so i had no prior experience like how to ask for referral Absolutely. and yeah. how do we apply what are how to apply to career portal had no exposure so what happened was i had set up a deadline that during the first week of june i am going to apply at least one job mm-hmm. so for that i remember 6th of june i took a referral for paypal and applied through the career portal that was my first uh, experience of applying and i was just doing it for sake of completing my deadline and after the plan i got a call on i think 8th of june from the recruiter but okay. for a different job id and the job had uh, required experience for both back end and devops and which was basically my work experience i had been working on devops side and back end both as well yeah. so we yeah, so this was the only job that i had particularly applied rest how all the calls that i've got were directly from the recruiters on linkedin and nokri okay So yeah. did you interview with PayPal? Yeah, so on 25th of June I got an offer from PayPal as well. Understood. So uh, let's come back to it. So like if somebody is you know a fresher and has studied a little bit and is looking out for opportunities what would you know your advice be you know how because they also don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. So can you you know give a minute and you know tell them what were the insights that you got from this journey? So I would say like initial rounds are for data structures and algorithm so i would suggest everyone for all years of experience like at least till 5 7 years i believe they ask one at least one data structures round so and even if they are fresher ex- now we are expecting like uh, a one system design round along with some api designing as well so it is very good to have a decent exposure of at least one framework so since most of the job opportunities i found were for spring boot and java so that is one of the reason i switched my domain to java spring boot and i would suggest we can try for java spring boot and invest some time into learning the all the concepts and build some decent projects on on top of it okay got so it so it is surely going to help for resume shortlisting as well and also during the interview and also it has a high job demand in the market yeah now and now it's definitely improving what we were facing for the last 6 months or more that is definitely reducing all right now i want to ask you about uh, how tough was you know preparing were you stressed there might have been days when you were not consistent you gave me one example if you missed one topic or one deadline the rest of the things were not working out so consistency was key but there might have been days and there obviously normally for any student who is preparing there are going to be days when you know you don't you're not able to study or your mind's not working so how were you able to handle that, handle that how stressed were you how were you able to channel it so for particularly in my case i like i was honestly just disciplined enough to study every day okay i was not seeking motivation or uh, any sort of other entertainment i was just studying and i was like i had this thing in mind that i have to change my job so i was like working and studying daily even on weekends i was not taking any days off and with the detailed uh, things that i've lear- learned through the cohort i like vivek sir knows about it actually so mm-hmm. i used to follow everything very religiously and on time timings because i have always believed on the purpose of setting goals for myself okay so for me i would say that if you are planning to search or go to a better place it's always like for at least for a certain timing you have to be very much disciplined absolutely uh, so basically you didn't miss any day you were not getting overwhelmed you were just consistently studying and that you know kept you kept you going basically yeah, that was yeah. right. because i actually had set up goals like till 
uh, like what my plan was at least till november i would switch but my first interview came in the month of june itself okay so it's better that you prepare start to prepare as early as possible because you might not know when you will get a chance to interview so uh, can you tell us a little bit more about this opportunity that you you've already joined right yeah i've joined yeah what position have you got in and how was the interview process here so i have joined as l4 software engineer at target and okay. talking about interview experience we had like two dsa rounds Mm-hmm. and to system design rounds right. so the dsa rounds were of medium difficulty like two lead code medium in 40 minutes or so and then we had two system design rounds correct in the system design rounds most of the concepts revolved around the things that we have learned during the cohort and the lld boot camp okay so that was helpful for you and that helped you crack it yeah so majorly like the spring boot cohort we had actually saved my entire career okay got it and now how are you feeling you know joining this company and how is the culture there and how are you feeling now so i am also currently working on the same tech stack spring boot java kafka and redis okay. so most of the learning that vivek sir gave us during the cohort are actually used inside the industry and i am very much grateful so because he had taught us with very minute minute details in a very detailed fashion okay. and i used used to make a note of everything so i'm qu- finding it quite easy to work right now because of the learnings from my cohort so i am very much thankful to vivek sir for teaching so many things so beautifully i'm so glad to hear that great okay so all right so for the final question i want to ask what is you know your highlight in this entire journey maybe starting from november 2023 Mm-hmm. you are what is the highlight for you so the major turning point was joining the spring boot court honestly like i have never thought that i would get into like a totally different domain just by following a cohort and working hard on it i am very much thankful to vivek sir for teaching us so wonderfully sure. and also like once you finish up the cohort i remember i had a one on one call with him where he guided me like how i should start the data structures preparation Mm-hmm. so i followed the same path starting from graph and dp like moving backwards basically because i had already practiced them during my college days so i was consistently doing according to what he planned and i followed everything according to her deadlines and yeah so the major thing i would highlight is if you want to make a switch you just have to be disciplined at least for a certain period of time and eventually everything will pay off Yeah, yeah. Not just for switch. Even if you know want to upscale yourself, no. start your career. Or change, I mean, yeah, make a switch as well. And I think it's important <clears throat> to get a you get the right guidance and mentor. Exactly, well. exactly. So Vivek sir was always there for mentoring me. Like, uh, he, he used to like join. I think the first call we had was after ten thirty p.m. He was there after ten thirty p.m. and we had our call extended for more than one and a half hour. I think. Yeah. So he listened to. each of the problem that i was facing okay he guided through everything and he told like what all things i need to work on and how i have to make the next step towards learning because learning is not everything you have to be very well versed with how to like uh, move from one step to other step Got so it. this is where vivek sir guided me through everything understood thank you so much aditya any other feedback that you have for us you know something that could make the user journey for our learners our students better anything that comes to your mind a uh, feedback like my journey at programming bachelor was actually rewarding for me and i always say a lot of good things about it because it is actually that good i actually have went through a lot of udemy and youtube courses a lot of other courses but i have never found something so detailed and so well structured what we were so taught us i like anyone who asks me where should we prepare pro- from so i always suggest them just to blindly follow programming parts like you are planning to learn it just go there by their course because this is what actually helped me and this is what i feel is the best in the entire internet currently all right thank you so much for your words that means a lot um all right thank you again for your time and hearty congratulations from the entire programming patshala team everybody mm-hmm. is really proud and uh, all the very best keep working hard your dedication mm-hmm. is something that you know a lot of students can definitely learn from so thank you.